Hey guys, so today I want to show you this really cool URL shortener tool that I use all the time. And it's called tinyurl.com, super easy name, super simple, tinyurl.com. And this allows you basically to do something really simple, which is take really, really long URLs, like the one in the example here, and make them really, really short, like the one below, right? And the cool thing about this tool is that, you know, the name tinyurl.com, it's, you know, it's something that wouldn't convey to someone that it's, you know, like a spam link or, a, a, you know, a, something that could contain a virus or anything like that. It's a safe URL and it's something that you can use, you know, when you're working with people and you want to share information or you want to share links. But sometimes, you know, you might be sending an email, it might be work related, whatever it is. Sometimes you get these really, really long URLs. And you just don't want to copy and paste that, you know, in your email or in your WhatsApp or in your Slack or, you know, whatever it is that you're using, you know, you don't want to start sharing these really, really long URLs, partly also because they're really, really hard to remember as well. So if you don't have something to really like quickly and easily copy and paste, well, it can be really hard for you to remember that. Plus also keep in mind, like, let's say, for example, you're a business owner and you're, you want you know, your customers to go to a specific page of your website, of your company website, or if you have a promotion going on or you know, something going on that you want them to go to a specific URL, well, it's gonna be really difficult and it's harder for you to direct your customers to these really, really long URLs like that one here, because they're not gonna start typing this if you, you know, send them an email or, or if you, you know, let's say you're giving out flyers you're, or if you're putting an ad, you know, if they're driving past, they're not going to remember something this long. Of course, it's too, too long, it's too much for them. So it needs to be really, really short, really, really simple. So I'm going to show you how the, the tool works. Okay. And I'm just going to go here to, uh, you know, this is a random page that I opened as I was preparing for this video. And it's just an article in the Sydney Morning Herald. Uh, you know, it's just a random article that, that's in the news. But as you can see, this article is super long, right? Like it's, you know, the URL for this article it's super long, you know, like it has so many characters, like there's no way I would remember this. And if I was sharing it with someone, you know, like I said, in a business transaction or whatever, they would never type something this long. So that's the whole benefit of having a, 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 a you know, a URL shortener like tiny URL, right? Then what you can do is you just simply select this, you know, copy it, whether it's control C to copy it, or you right click and just select copy and then you just go to your tinyurl.com page, you paste it here, right? And then you just click on make tiny URL. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that tiny URL has also something pretty cool, which is they allow you to customize what goes after tinyurl.com slash. So you can put you know, your kind of personalized name after that, as long, of course, that it hasn't been used before. If it's been used before, the system will tell you that it's not available and you'll have to create another one. Okay, so they, if you can think of a name, you know, after the, you know, slash dot, you know, dot whatever you want it to be, then you can just leave it, it's optional, like it says here, and you can just click make tiny URL and it'll make a random one for you. So let's, let's just try it out for you to see an example, make tiny URL. Okay, and as you can see now, this is the tiny URL, which you can use to share, which is a lot easier and shorter than the one above, which is the original one, right? So now you can, you know, send this in an email or, you know, in a chat message. And it's a lot easier, you know, to type. It's a lot shorter to type. It's a lot easier. Maybe not super easy to remember because you're using here a randomly generated, you know, URL, which is why you're getting this little weird code at the end. But that's fine because it's still, you know, it's still good, still usable. But like I said before, you can customize this if you want. Tiny URL does allow you to customize this. But basically, let, let me just show you real quickly what happens with a, you know, with a URL shortener. What it does is it, shortens the original URL, but it still takes you to the same place. So, you know, if I copy this short URL, or if I just click here, copy to clipboard, and then I just open another tab, and I paste that URL there, and then I click enter, what you see is that it's going to take me exactly to the same place, which is pretty cool. Like I said before, you don't have to type all of this anymore, you know, to get there. You can just type, you know, the shortened URL, you know, the one that we can generate with tinyurl.com and then it'll take you here, which is like I said, super cool. I really love this. And actually, I know this sounds like a really simple thing, but I use this a lot. Like I probably use this every single week in my life because I'm actually reading articles all the time and I want to share them with someone or I want to put an update on my WhatsApp 
and I don't want to put these really long URLs or I might be chatting with someone, you know, in, in Microsoft Teams or in Skype and I don't want to, you know, just put in the chat message a really, really long URL. I want to do something a lot shorter, something a lot simple. And let's just go back and now let's create a custom one, you know. So we go here. Oh, well, let me just erase this. Let's just go back to the original article. I'm just going to copy again the long URL. Okay, so control C or right click and then copy. And then we paste it here. But now I'm going to customize it and I'm just going to put something a little bit easier for me to remember. So the article was about Christmas and about tips to save money on Christmas. So I'm going to call it Christmas tips. Christmas tips. So tinyurl.com slash Christmas tips. Okay. And now let's go and click make tiny URL. All right. So this is something that can happen to you. And it's actually you know, way good that you've seen this because this can actually happen to you. It seems that someone has actually used that tinyurl.com slash Christmas tips before. So that's why you see here the custom alias that you've chosen is not available. OK, so when this happens, don't worry. You know, don't stress out about it. Just try another one. So you can, again, copy you know, the, the URL, the original URL. And now I'm going to put Christmas tips. Maybe let's just put, you know, Christmas tips 2018. All right, and let's do that. All right, perfect. So that one worked. As you can see now, I can use tinyurl.com slash Christmas tips 2018. And that's going to take me to the article we were seeing before. Instead of typing this really, really long URL with, you know, you know, all of these characters, which is, again, really long, really hard to remember. Nobody's going to remember that. But it is pretty easy to remember. tinyurl.com slash Christmas trips 2018. That's pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty easy to remember. So you can tell your customers, you know, or, you know, in this example, I was I was saying to you, like, you know, imagine you were sharing a URL with your customers. So I could say to them, just head to tinyurl.com Christmas tips 2018. And that's it, you know, tinyurl.com slash Christmas trips 2018. Right. So tinyurl.com slash Christmas tips 2018. Beautiful. And now you're going to see that that's going to take me again to the article. That's it. That's how, a, you know, a URL shortener works. It basically takes that really, really long URL. It makes it a lot shorter, like in this example here. And it basically then allows you to use that short URL to share with people so that when they type that URL, it basically redirects them or takes them back to the original source, which is this long, long URL, right? So I hope you found this helpful. And I'm sure you're going to think about a lot of different ways in which you can use this tool. And like I said before, it's something that I actually use quite often for work. You know, the other day, I'll, I'll give you a perfect real life example. You know, the other day I was doing this demo and we were doing this virtual reality experience for a lot of people. And we had a crowd, you know, we had a lot of people in the audience and we wanted them to test out a demo we had created in virtual reality on their mobile phones. And I was working with these guys, you know, these brilliant technical guys and these brilliant technical guys, you know, they had come up with a demo site to show the prototype to, you know, the people that were in the audience. And we were working on this and then they showed me the URL where people had to type that they had to type on their mobile phone to actually get to the demo. And man, it was a super really, really long URL. I can't even remember. It was, you know, like vr.com slash blah, 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 slash, blah, 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 slash, slash, blah, 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 slash, slash. So it was like a really, really long URL that, of course, people, well, even if we spelled it out for them, it would take a long time for us to spell it out for them. And it would take a long time for people to type that URL. And of course, people hate that, you know, especially if you're in a demo, you know, you're trying to showcase something, you want the presentation to flow, you know, you want it to be super, super, you know, exciting, and you want people to, you know, you know, you want them in the mood, and you want to want them to carry on quickly, you don't want to waste time with people, you know, feeling that they have to type this really long thing to get to the demo, right. So basically, what I said to the guys is, well, let me just take that really, really long URL that you created there. And let me just, you know, create a custom alias. So I said, you know, tinyurl.com VR experience something. 
whatever it was. It was this is just an example. And then I created the URL, and it was a lot easier for us in the demo to just say to people, okay, just go to tinyurl.com slash virtual experience something. And then they just went there, and everybody was really excited because they could see the demo really quickly on their mobile phones, and it worked really well. So this is just a real-life example of how you can use the tool. Like I said, there's a gazillion probably different use cases in which you could use this either for business or for personal reasons. But now you know you can use this URL shortener to shorten those really, really long, annoying URLs, create a really short one, and then share it with your friends, coworkers, or whoever you want to share it with. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.